Are you spending hundreds of dollars on presets and you still don't know who you are as a photographer? What if I told you the answer has been sitting in your computer this entire time? I'm willing to bet anything in the world that you already have 2,500 images sitting somewhere in your computer and that's actually enough to create your very own profile within Aftershoot. In this tutorial, I'm gonna help you do just that. So I've hooked you up with a link in the description so that you can follow along with every step of the way as well as enjoy the benefits of having Aftershoot for free for an entire month. Before we dive into the tutorial, I first feel as though I should explain the difference between a preset and a profile. A preset on one hand is going to apply a set of parameters that has already been predetermined and established all throughout the image, regardless of what's going on inside of it. An aftershoot profile, on the other hand, will in fact use artificial intelligence to determine what's going on within that composition and apply that same set of parameters to the point where you are minimizing the amount of time that you need to do in post-production. So that's essentially the biggest difference between a preset and a profile. A preset is going to take a little bit more time in post-processing, whereas a profile will definitely get you closer to where you wanna be right out of the gate. So having said that, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. If you're absolutely brand new to the platform, you should be running on version 2.9.5, which is the latest and greatest iteration of Aftershoot to date. So if you're brand new to Aftershoot, this is exactly what this version of Aftershoot should show you. Now, as you can see, mine is also bare because I've taken the liberty of deleting everything that I've done in the past so that my version looks identical to yours. Immediately, I wanna bring your attention to the top right-hand corner where it says Aftershoot edits in purple. Because we are wanting to create a brand new profile, this is exactly where we're gonna click. Once we do that, it gives us this option. Now we have one of two choices. We can either use one of the pre-built AI styles, which if you are in fact a marketplace accessible user, then you're gonna be choosing a style more on that a little bit later. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be using one from scratch. So we're gonna click on where it says create custom AI profile, okay? Immediately after that, we have the option to give it a very unique name. And just for fun, we are going to call this unicorn. As you know, unicorns are the aftershoot mascots, if you will. And so immediately after that, we also have two very important parameters that we want and should talk about today. If you are a raw shooter like myself, you should by default have this option selected. If you prefer to save a little bit of space and unfortunately not have as much flexibility, then you can go ahead and choose JPEG as well. Uh, we won't get into the nitty gritty of one over the other. There is no right or wrong answer, but at the end of the day, Aftershoot does in fact uh, determine that we have JPEG shooters versus raw shooters. So again, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll leave it as raw. Now, the second important parameter is, as you can see, between color and black and white. I'm working on a black and white profile that is uh, being done behind the scenes, so we'll leave this one as color because most of us always do end up shooting in color. So we're gonna leave raw and color as is. Again, they are by default the given choice. So the next step is going to land you on this screen. This is essentially how you create the personal AI profile within Aftershoot. I'll quickly go over these prompts so that you can follow along in your neck of the woods. Number one is to upload your catalog slash sessions. While the minimum is 2,500, the more images that you show the AI profile, the better it will become. We recommend 5,000. Me personally, I have uh, twice over um, edited all of my pictures to the point where I have the to do the absolute bare minimum in post-production and that is essentially the goal of aftershoot to save you time in the post-processing number two is to diversify your images you teach your ai profile to handle all types of photos by showing it images with various lighting conditions and background so Regardless if you find yourself in light and airy situations or dark and moody environments, you should have a huge palette of ambiance and environments so that the system eventually will determine what algorithm works for you and therefore it can study you a little bit better. And number three is consistency. It's definitely key and I would agree with that. To get consistent edits from your profile, you need a consistent editing style across the images you want to upload. So in other words, although you can in insert a diversified portfolio or images, the editing in your, um, in your style should remain 
pretty much homogenous all across the board. So in other words, your highlights, your shadows, your contrast, your saturation, all these parameters that we use as photographers should remain the same so that you can teach the algorithm within Aftershoot's profile to be consistent all across the board. Now that you know what that's all about, what we wanna do is click to import the catalog. So I already have one picked out that I have used previously. We're gonna select that file and click on this little checkbox right here so that the After True training can determine which color, uh, which photos are actually in color, which are 113. And it's including the other 45 because as you can see, they are grayscale images, AKA black and white. So. Within this catalog, I do have 45 images that are the system itself recognizes that are black and white, therefore it's not gonna be used for the manipulation. So immediately on the bottom right, we're gonna go ahead and click upload. The system is going to start doing its thing. It is calculating a time remaining. This process takes minutes, if that. And uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna speed it up to the point where we have a profile created. Now, for the sake of argument, let's say that you have already inputted 2,500 images into the system. This means that right off the bat, you have the absolute minimum amount of images slash threshold that the system is going to need in order to generate a profile within Aftershoot. However, in the event that you do not have one catalog that has 2,500, you can repeatedly uh, continue the process to the point where you can actually reach 2,500. So if you have to do it a couple of times over because you've separated earlier catalogs, it's no reason to panic, you can eventually get there. So let's say that you do have 2,500 images, whether in raw format or JPEG. That's great. This means that you can, in fact, create a profile. So let's assume that you have already done so. Instead of creating a new profile, which already exists, we're gonna look at view profiles instead. Now, these are the profiles available to you with an aftershoot if, in fact, you, you choose a membership tier that allows access to the marketplace. As you can see, we are fans of desserts and nuts, these are fun names like Cinematic Sunday, White Chocolate, Hazelnut, Pistachio, so on and so forth. But if we scroll down to the bottom, you will see that I have three different profiles. My very first called the Cisco Kid, the new exposure, which I've trained a little bit more on, as well as my new one called Glasgow. Glasgow is all about that muted tone, desaturated look. It's inspired by Scottish Highlands and Western European weddings, and I'm actually really liking it. So depending on what tier of membership you eventually go with, in the event that you do in fact see Aftershoot as part of your workflow, you may have access to this marketplace and you also have access to other creators' profiles such as Joy Zamora, Lily Red, and many other wonderful Aftershoot ambassadors. So there you have it. That's how easily within minutes you can create your customized profile based on expertise that you have already applied to your editing process. Having said that, I hope you have a lot of fun using Aftershoot for the foreseeable future. And if you have any questions that may arise, leave them down in the comments and either Aftershoot themselves or I will tend to them as soon as humanly possible. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Francis and I will see you in the next video.